we can observe from you know following 2017 is that there's a uh, there's a trend where companies and you know enterprises especially are getting more and more interested in lending uh, blockchain applications that would actually solve real problems rather than you know just create a new another new bubble. So in 2019, we will see more and more uh, enterprises adopting blockchain, and we will also see more and more um, bigger players coming to the blockchain space and opening up their blockchain technology to to enterprises, to startups, and to uh, you know anyone who actually can benefit from the technology. So I think the public bodies are being more open to to blockchain. They are increasingly kind of interested in blockchain as. You know, there are more use cases, there's more you know, proven track records of applications and actual use cases being implemented. They are becoming more and more um, pro-blockchain and they are more and more interested in you know, coming to us to actually look for ways to collaborate and to use our technology to make their own public services more efficient. Uh, one area which we are you know, uh, advocating is to open up blockchain uh, because we have developed our own proprietary blockchain technology called M blockchain but at the same time we believe that it's it's only right to build a ecosystem where you know startups or other uh, non-technological players can actually join us to benefit from blockchain. I think um, the environment here in China is actually quite pro-innovation and there's a lot of support uh, from the relevant bodies and also from the industry organizations to push for uh, you know blockchain development and also for uh, blockchain applications across different industries. So I think it's more of uh, a, a, quite a strong push for uh, blockchain to develop in a healthy way currently in China and it's not uh, something which we, we are afraid of. Yeah.